What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. Talking about um, Nick Castle. Once again, I know I just did a video in, in that compilation video or that, uh, I don't know what I'll call it. The video where I did multiple updates. That's what I'll call it. <laughs> so talking about that really quick before I jump into the topic of how many deaths will Michael Myers even have in this movie. Nick Castle again put out a tweet acknowledging that he's work, doing some final ADR work for, for the very last time as Michael Myers. We know that Nick Castle has been starring in both of these movies from David Gordon Green doing cameo work. James Duke Courtney has been the one dominantly starring as the shape Michael Myers but it's been nice to have James Duke Courtney who we, not James Duke Courtney it's been nice to have Nick Castle who we know has been starring in these movies as cameos and and he was the original Michael Myers in the 78 movie. It's been nice to have him back. And it's nice to see that he is getting some ADR work finished. We know that he again will have a cameo in some capacity going into this one. I've already stated I think he might show up as a hobo. Uh, but he could show up as some other figure in Haddonfield. And the most of the Halloween kills or Halloween kills 2018 Michael Myers predominant work you've seen will still come from James Drew Courtney. So jumping into another topic of how many kills will Michael Myers actually have? I know a lot of people going into this movie will be like, if there is not the same amount of kills that Michael had in Halloween kills, they're fine with that. But I think what people might not be okay with is if a chunk of the kills that are happening in Halloween ends come from Corey Cunningham. And I will say this, I am already gonna go into it with that expectation only because that just seems like a safe safe thing to just kind of prepare yourself for. Not that who or who's doing the kills is that big of a deal if, of course, the overall movie is piss poor. <laughs> but Corey Cunningham, considering that he is being shaped to be this new focus, kind of like an obsession in Haddonfield, they view him as this new boogeyman. They are kind of seem to be glimpses of maybe we can assume they're bullying him. This will lead to him donning the Michael Myers mask, going off of, again, the fact that we see what we think is Michael Myers with all their fingers back on a hand where they shouldn't have all their fingers. At one point, we see the shape wearing a ring. So many things. We see Corey actually at one point in the sewer getting grabbed up by Michael Myers. So it's safe to assume that at some point he snaps, puts on the mask after an encounter with Michael, and he hacks off a few people who were bullying him and mistreating him in Haddonfield, which will make up a majority of the kills that we see in the movie. How many kills will Michael Myers have? I honestly will predict maybe zero to two. Zero to two. That might be disappointing to you, but I think that's a realistic thing to go into this movie preparing yourself for. Only, again, considering how they continue to have position that this movie will have a heavy focus on a character named Corey Cunningham. This accusation surrounding him after, a, after an incident when he's babysitting this little boy. Something tragic happens. He'll be he'll be a propped up as the next big bad in the town. They won't let him live in peace. I'm assuming he will somehow start dating Allison. I don't know how Lori Strode will then get involved because at the end of the day, Lori Strode, from what we know, all we have is that she has a memoir she's working on and going off of the trailer. At some point in the movie, she will end up in a battle with Michael Myers again at her house in the kitchen. I will also say this. There's a very good chance that the person going into the room at the top of the stairs that we saw in that first trailer that we've gotten or teaser i guess you can call it that's not the michael myers we think it is that's actually Corey cunningham for whatever reason confronting laurie strode now what reason would he have to kill laurie strode we can only assume maybe it has something to do with Allison because I can only imagine yeah you start killing people like that bro she's not going to want you to be around her granddaughter so if that's why he starts targeting Laurie Strode that would explain why we see a shot of him going into her room in her house dressed as Michael Myers but then of course something would happen with Corey Cunningham I've already done a video where him stealing Michael's mask most likely is going to lead to him returning to Haddonfield for his mask and by pure coincidence that's where Laurie and Michael will connect they'll have their final brawl and it might be a little underwhelming to some because of the circumstances that brought them together for that last hoorah but for others that want to look past all of that it might be entertaining in the sense that okay it's it's still Michael Myers and Laurie Stroll battling it out and if that's if that's all you care about and don't care about the who how and the why then you'll be satisfied by that but if Michael Myers literally only shows up towards the tail end of the movie 
and we see glimpses of him throughout the movie but it's mostly just Corey cunningham using him for his own advantage a lot of people are going to be turned off by that honestly and i am going to predict that he will only have zero to two kills zero to two kills one of them of course i don't think will include laurie strode uh we know that at some point in the movie one of them will die they've made it clear during the marketing campaign so far that one of them will die it could be a twist to save us from the fact that they're going to have both of them die but also considering that jamie lee curtis's words about a final shot of the movie or the final shot that she filmed related to her sitting in a car you know, it sounds like Laurie Strode makes it out of the movie alive. Michael Myers bites the dust. He probably won't have too many new kills added to his added to his uh, resume. He, besides that, he's racked up a lot going off of Halloween Kills and what we've already seen in 2018. But I know people do come to a Michael Myers movie to see Michael Myers do some killing. So him having a low kill count might be a little bit of a problem for some people who really aren't trying to see this well thought out character driven narrative that's connected to Christine or not connected to it's been compared to Christine and it's been described as like a coming of age story too I believe a lot of people aren't going to want to be there for that they are going to want to see that basic generic stuff we got from halloween kills not that halloween kills was again one of the worst things that ever came out last year but it was pretty much a downgrade compared to what we got with halloween 2018 so Corey cunningham don't be surprised he makes up a lot of the kill count uh just so that way those of you who are listening to this if you get in that mindset when you see the movie i hope you don't get disappointed because at that point if this ends up being correct, you can say that I prepared you for it. But I'm going to prepare myself for it because I literally feel as though that's what's going to happen. It'll be somehow the Jason goes to hell of the Halloween series. And I know that's a horrible comparison to make without seeing the movie. But going off of how they're again saying there's a heavy focus on Corey Cunningham, Michael Myers will probably be an afterthought and his kill count will only probably be zero to two. So I am going to compare it to Jason goes to hell because Jason only appeared at the very end and the beginning of that movie. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video